Behold, the hovercraft, but where did it come from? Meet Christopher Cockrell. Born in England in 1910, Christopher came from a family of geniuses. His father had served as a museum director and knew several prominent English writers. However, Christopher had a different calling, and he traveled to Cambridge to study engineering. After his studies, Christopher eventually went to work on radar systems for the Marconi Wireless Telegraph Company. In 1950, Cockrell left Marconi to manage a marina in Norfolk, and his focus shifted. He noticed that friction slowed boats down, and began looking for ways to build heavy craft that could skim on the water's surface, reducing the friction. Eventually it occurred to him, what better way to reduce friction than to have a vehicle ride on air? Using a hairdryer, tin cans, and other odds and ends, Christopher tested this hypothesis. He placed a small can inside a large one and blew air into them. The resulting ring of high-pressure airflow made a barrier to the air on either side of its path. He called this phenomenon the momentum curtain. Christopher wasn't the first to think of this idea. Emanuel Swedenborg proposed the concept in 1716, and earlier inventors had built similar vehicles. However, Christopher's invention, which he patented in 1956, is often considered the first modern hovercraft. Here's how it works. Christopher's hovercraft used a skirt to trap high-pressure air under the vehicle, cushioning over the surface. In his original designs, the same engine that provided lift also provided propulsion. This used much less energy than a boat because there was less friction to fight against. In 1959, England's National Research and Development Corporation introduced the SRN1, which Christopher designed. Later researchers made numerous improvements to the hovercraft, and today it's used for everything from tourism to military service and research.